Nazareth is where Joseph, Mary, and Jesus lived. It's here that the Christian family model began, so it's also there that it should be renewed. Since the year 1997, the Vatican has worked to build the International Center for Family right in Nazareth. In Nazareth, para renovar las familias. The project began in 1994 after the Year of Family, with the support, of course, of John Paul II. However, violence in the Holy Land halted the construction, and after some time, Benedict XVI took helm of the project. Now the Vatican has assigned its development to Italy's charismatic renewal movement. It's a place to take in pilgrims, but we want to take up initiatives to be a window into all that is done by Catholic movements, the associations, the universities, the institutions. Also, everything dealing with a family, welfare, sport, education, everything that the family is at the center of on a daily basis. It will not only house pilgrims, but it will also help families grow. It will feature a think tank on the situation and role family has in society, and a center to help families in the Middle East. It will also feature a think tank in the Middle East as an ecumenical and interreligious reference to help understand how the family can build peace, how it can stimulate peace from the very roots even before states or religions. Now, thanks to God, we have a truce, some calm. Pilgrims can come and visit holy sites peacefully. Unfortunately, we're still very far from peace. This center, along with other families, can be a prime occasion, a significant rock to build peace upon. The center also launched a website which promotes interaction among families across the globe. Only about 2% of the population in the Holy Land is Christian. However, the largest Christian community is in Nazareth, where they make up nearly 40%. This center hopes to serve as a guide to achieve peace, dialogue, and the promotion of family as a fundamental building block of society.